2019 reminded us how essential TRCA is to the well-being of our communities and how important our role is in protecting our communities from flooding and in celebrating and conserving our natural resources. With increased frequency of extreme weather, TRCA played a critical role in helping our partners address and adapt to the impacts of climate change. Drawing on decades of expertise in protecting the public and preserving natural heritage, TRCA has a valued voice in discussions with the province and stakeholders to shape the future of conservation, environmental, and land use planning in Ontario. In the past year alone, TRCA commented on 20 different policy proposals from the provincial government, including proposed updates to the Conservation Authorities Act and associated regulations. TRCA's expertise was leveraged by Doug McNeil, the province's special advisor on flooding, to understand our specific challenges and opportunities in our highly urbanized jurisdiction, Mr. McNeil adopted all of TRCA's recommendations in his final report to the province. TRCA staff took Mr. McNeil on a tour of some of the most flood-prone areas in the Toronto region to view examples of successfully completed and in-process flood protection projects firsthand. We were pleased that the provincial report recognizes the important work of conservation authorities while highlighting areas where the province can better support our efforts. Part of our work to support our municipalities involves TRCA seeking funding from senior levels of government to address areas of need. In 2018 and 2019, TRCA collaborated with our partners and submitted numerous applications as part of the Federal Disaster Mitigation Adaptation Program and Natural Disaster Mitigation Program. TRCA's efforts were rewarded in 2019 when the federal government and City of Toronto announced more than $84 million in funding for the Toronto Waterfront Erosion Hazard Mitigation Project. This massive undertaking will rehabilitate 80 structural assets in order to make the Lake Ontario shoreline more resilient to extreme weather and flooding. Additionally, the federal government and our partner municipalities in Peel, Toronto and York Region committed in excess of $78 million to address erosion damage to ravine systems throughout our jurisdiction over the next decade. In total, TRCA, working with our partners, has been able to garner over $56 million in funding from the federal government for TRCA work, benefiting our partners within our jurisdiction. In 2019, water levels in Lake Ontario hit the highest levels ever recorded, and TRCA was on the front lines, collaborating with stakeholders to communicate, manage, and prevent flooding. We were proud to see our staff recognize at Toronto City Council for their hard work and dedication in helping to keep the islands, waterfront trails, Ashbridge's Bay, and other Lake Ontario waterfront parks open this year in the face of the highest lake levels ever recorded. With more extreme events, rapid growth, and aging infrastructure in our region, the scale and complexity of flood protection, conservation, and restoration have increased. Our parks, conservation areas, and education centers also face greater demands and challenges due to increased population and changing user needs. To keep doing the crucial work they do, our staff need the best possible tools. That's why we've made a commitment to modernize TRCA as an organization in every way we can, recognizing limited budgets. We are now a global leader in applying advanced technology to traditional conservation work from erosion management to floodplain mapping. Our senior leadership team is working now to build on our strength of applying new and emerging technologies to deliver the exceptional quality of service our municipal partners rely upon. This includes utilizing LiDAR mapping, drones, and sonar merged with the best available GIS layers and mobile devices to conduct our work. Let's take a look at how members of our senior leadership team are leading modernization initiatives across the organization. TRCA plays a critical role in keeping people safe from flooding. The use of floodplain mapping to understand risk areas is key to our work. We take advantage of cutting edge technology to quantify and visualize how water moves through TRCA's watersheds. Our up-to-date mapping and modeling keeps new communities out of flood risk areas. It also helps us plan mitigation projects and streamline the development process. A great example is the Don Mouth and Portland's Flood Protection Project, a transformative opportunity that will mitigate flooding and provide for green space and urban renewal. As the climate changes, our tools have to change as well to meet new challenges. With so many people living in our highly urbanized watersheds, flood risk is year-round. TRCA's flood duty officers are on call 24-7 using tools like our network of real-time gauges and our web-based flood warning system to get up-to-the-minute information on key risk areas. The team is also out in the field making sure that our dams and other flood infrastructure meet the latest safety standards. Municipal partners rely on TRCA's technical skills. They use our tools and our expertise in real-time to help keep residents safe. 
We share knowledge with the general public as well. TRCA is reaching out proactively to people in flood vulnerable areas to help them understand how to protect their families and businesses. TRCA has the unique ability to bring together multidisciplinary teams in times of flood risk, as we did this past year. Every time the water rises, we're capturing new data, often in innovative ways to help us plan for the future. One of the keys to modernizing our operations is developing a focus on customer service excellence. We're empowering every TRCA employee to provide value-added activities for our stakeholders. In 2019, we updated our vision, mission, and introduced new customer service standards. We also established iCare, TRCA's five core values. These create a sense of shared purpose and consistency in our day-to-day -day work. The more transparent we are about what TRCA does, the better we can explain TRCA's value proposition to our stakeholders. This is why we've developed key performance indicators to measure progress in delivering the projects and programs that advance our strategic priorities. TRCA has also taken important steps to update its infrastructure to enhance interactions with our stakeholders and improve the employee experience. We introduced Dayforce, a comprehensive human resources information system, launched Outlook, and the latest Microsoft tools. And we've begun updating our policies and procedures to ensure they reflect industry best practices. 2019 also saw the groundbreaking of TRCA's new head office. This is a project funded by all three levels of government, which clearly shows the value of our work. The new headquarters is expected to be one of the most energy efficient buildings in North America and will provide a long-term solution to our administrative office needs. We're confident that TRCA is making positive strides to improve our operations and we're excited to continue building a truly customer-focused culture. Drones are one of the best examples of how TRCA is utilizing the latest advancements in technology to build resiliency into our communities. In 2019, our new drone surveying program completed more than 32 kilometers of flood damage inspections along the waterfront. The footage collected helps to advance our work on the Toronto Waterfront Erosion Hazard Mitigation Project by tracking the extent and severity of flooding related to higher water levels on Lake Ontario. This imagery informs design solutions that protect existing infrastructure and public safety from future severe weather events. In 2019, we also launched our drone monitoring program for the Scarborough Bluffs. This will help improve our understanding of how erosion is impacting the bluffs year over year. What we learn from this information will support TRCA's ongoing efforts to protect and enhance one of the Toronto region's most iconic natural features. TRCA has also gathered drone footage of more than nine kilometers of river systems as part of our erosion risk management program. By using GPS waypoints, we can repeat the same drone flights precisely each time. This helps us to more efficiently quantify the location and extent of erosion impacting the shorelines in our jurisdiction. By outfitting our drones with LiDAR mapping equipment and software, we also surveyed more than five hectares of land. We create 3D digital models that are used to develop design solutions for controlling erosion, as well as to check the accuracy of our constructed works. We're excited about the evolving applications for drone surveying and other technologies that help our staff to work faster, more efficiently and cost-effectively as we strive to protect public safety, valuable land and essential infrastructure from the hazards of flooding and erosion. This is just a snapshot at some of our work that made 2019 such a momentous year. Some other notable achievements for 2019 include obtaining final approval for the Scarborough Waterfront Project Environmental Assessment, which will set the stage to complete this vital segment of the Lake Ontario Waterfront Trail while creating new habitat and addressing erosion hazards. The transfer of TRCA-owned lands to Parks Canada for Rouge National Urban Park to complete the vision of a park that connects Lake Ontario to the Elk Ridges Moraine. Completing the Municipal Engineers Class EA and building community support for the Meadowway, a vibrant new urban green space that will connect the Rouge Park to the Don Valley for the people of the Toronto region. Several staff events were held by our social committee to engage staff. We also held TRCA's first Service Recognition Awards event, which recognized staff for their dedication and contributions to our great organization. TRCA's municipal partners know the value of what we do. Critical, on-the-ground implementation work to protect lives and property and manage our natural resources. TRCA is focused more than ever on building capacity in areas of need for our government partners by partnering with industry, universities, and other institutions. We've also begun the process of updating and implementing service level agreements with agencies and partners we work with to cover the wide range of programs and services that TRCA delivers. Transforming and modernizing TRCA today will prepare us for the opportunities and challenges of creating more resilient and sustainable communities for tomorrow.